am back with another video, and this time it's the what we did today, which is Thursday, September 7th. We went to Ollie's. I didn't see anything at Ollie's I couldn't live without. I saw a couple of books, but I wasn't really interested in them. It wasn't like a dire emergency to read. And they didn't really have any Halloween or fall stuff. So we kind of, you know, looked around. Carol bought a few things. And then we went to Goodwill, which is next door, and they didn't really have anything either. Uh, Carol did buy a couple of shirts for Chuck. He said he didn't need any more until winter. But she saw some cute ones for winter time. And then we went to Jama Juice and we got a pumpkin smash um, smoothie. Both of us got mediums. I did a video and posted it, the little pumpkin smash. They were really good. I had mine drink before we even got to the next location. We talked about going to other Goodwills, but decided not to at this time. And, um... We went to a, one of our th other thrift stores. It's been a while since we've been to this to their thrift stores. Um, we usually go to the one closest to us, but we hadn't been to those in the one today we went to in a while. They really changed it. They made it look more like a boutique, antique store type thing. Instead of like old and trashy. Walked in and all of a sudden I'm looking around. I'm like, wow, they really changed the front of it. And then they had up to the side one of the little... Um, like rooms that you used to I don't think you could get in I think it was like more of an office area and so they had some Avon stuff over there but it was like a whole collection and I didn't feel like breaking up the collection in case someone else wants to buy them and I'm not sure if I really wanted it it's the Cape Cod ones and I mean we're talking the whole collection I remember seeing a few pieces at one of the antique stores but I mean this was like full-on collection going on it was everywhere in there and then I went to the, um, they had a spot that was wedding slash Barbie. And then I went over into there, it had like a, off the side, they always have a big area that's always been cluttered. But it looked really nice. They had like glasses that were set up and they were selling uh, some of them together, of course, separate. And little, and some clothes and some little antique type things in there and th just different things in there. And then went to this other area that used to be like books and magazines. And they had, once again, antiques and breakables sitting over there. And then they had their big part, which was all straightened up. And finally found the books and magazines over there and videos. And they just had a really nice looking in there. And so I went through and kind of glanced. First thing I grabbed was these. I put these in a basket and just kind of carried them around because I wasn't sure if I wanted them. It's a set of six of these little glasses. And they sold them for... Six for twelve because like I said some of them they were selling together and some of them they were selling separate I was shocked when I saw these were being sold together and that they were six for twelve because I saw like two of them were like I think they were two for fifteen um, there was one it was like they had six glasses and it was like six dollars each and I can't remember what there was another one they had that was like two for you know something and so when I saw these, I couldn't believe it. Like I said, I thought they would be sold separate, and they're just so pretty. I decided to go ahead and carry them around, and then went ahead and decided to take them. So I am glad I got these. And, and then I grabbed this little wedding um, bouquet, which is $6. I had like two of these. But I decided to grab one, and um, I didn't really see anything else in the Barbie wedding section that I couldn't live without. I'm not quite sure where I'm doing with these this yet. I'm still trying to figure it out. I know I'm going to set it up somewhere. I just haven't decided on like what vase or whatever. And then of course I just couldn't live without these. These are just so pretty. I, just, I was glad like I said that they sold them together instead of separate. And so this was like the little mini haul part. I didn't get anything else because um, I didn't see anything else that really jumped out at me that wasn't too too expensive. And then we went to um, Taco Bueno and got lunch and came home. We've got plans to go out next week to um, check out some of the antique stores we've already been to. We were talking about going to a few today while we were um, near Ollie's and Goodwill, but we didn't go there. And because we, we couldn't figure out where it was located at, Carol's phone was having issues and mine. I was trying to figure out, we were trying to figure out where it was located. And so we decided to go ahead and wait on that. So we were talking about, you know, possibly going to antique stores. We've been to a few antique stores that we haven't. We were talking about going to Goodwill because we found some more Goodwills, not just the Goodwill outlet and the two we usually go to, or three. Um, we were talking about going and checking those out. 
Um, we were also checking, talking about checking out one of the bookstores we had seen near one of the um, antique stores. Cause she's like, isn't there an antique, isn't there a um, bookstore near the antique store? And I said, yeah. I said, I remember we, we talked about it, so we're talking about going there. So we possibly could be going to some antique stores in the bookstore. I don't know if we'll go to, like, the new antique stores. The, at least one of them that we are talking about. Because I have, like, f I think I have six of them we haven't been to yet. And um, we were talking about going to at least one of those that's in that area. Plus one or two that we've already been to. And then, like I said, we were talking about going to the bookstore. And I think we may go to the Goodwill over there, but I don't know. We're still on the, on the fence on that. And so we were talking about doing that. And then we were talking about one of these days soon, maybe possibly going to, uh, there's an antique, there's some kind of antique thing near us. Carol was telling me about it. She told me about it once before when we were driving along and we were trying to figure it out. And she pointed, she goes, I think it's over in there, but I'm not quite sure. And so we were kind of glancing at it. It looks like somebody's house that they've turned into an antique store. But we're not sure if it's an actual house that they're living in or if it's like an antique store that we would, you know, someone's using the house for. And they're only open on like Saturdays or evenings by appointment. So we're having this debate on if we're going to go or not. I told her, I said, she goes, maybe. I said, maybe one of these days we could check it out. So that might be a new place that we might, you know, check out. We haven't decided. So I'm not quite sure what we'll be doing next week. Next, we're talking Thursday. So we, I will see if we be, we'll be going anywhere. So there may be a mini haul or a video talking about where we went. Um, we also talked about going by Wendy's and getting that pumpkin spice frosty on. I told her I said we can do that if we go out on Thursday, go to all those places, come back our way, and stop off and get ourselves a pumpkin spice frosty. So you'll definitely see a video of the pumpkin spice frosty when I finally get one. But the rest of that stuff, like I said, I don't know if I'm going to have a haul or any of that kind of stuff. But I just thought I'd go ahead and do a quick video. <laughs> Not so quick video, as you can see. On what I bought. So this is my little mini haul. What we did today. Thank you for watching. Bye.